since every living thing has been exposed to radiation for so long, though so every little thing, every living organism on Earth or non-living organism has radioactivity in them, pretty much. Like this chicken in a cup. And like this chicken. And this chicken. And all these chickens. And these dogs. Here are some things that are radioactive. Glassware. Fruit. Glossy magazine paper. No. Cell phones. Jacksonville, Florida is America's most radioactive city. All of these things are radioactive, but don't have enough radioactivity to harm us. They only have small traces of radiation. So you might be wondering, why is radioactive waste so hard to get rid of? Well, I'll tell you. Because it has a long half-life of waste products. So you also might be wondering what a half-life is. Well, I'll tell you that too. A half-life is the time required for a quantity to fall to half of its value as measured at the beginning of the time period. It is used to describe radioactive exponential decay. How do they radiate food, you might ask? Well, they use high energy gamma rays, x-rays, and accelerated electrons. Accelerated electrons are a beam that shoots three centimeters into the food. The gamma ray and the x-ray are used in the microwave and have a short wavelength. They also penetrate food to a depth of several feet. I'm sorry, you can't escape. That's just not an option. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> they only have small traces of radiation. Radiation. <laughs> radiation. <laughs> because. <laughs>